So let me see if I've got this right. The previous level has a magical feast that replenishes itself every time we go near it. Whenever we eat it, not only is it absolutely delicious unlike any food I've ever eaten before, but it heals all of our wounds and rejuvenates our body and soul. That's pretty much what it does, yes. Now hear me out, Tabitha. That is made by Lathander's magic. Now we don't know if Lathander has enchanted the table to do that wherever we take it, or it's the fact that we're further purifying the temple that allows that magic to happen. No, we're not going to be taking the table with us, Sandstar. That wasn't actually what I was going to suggest, but that is a pretty good idea to keep in mind when we're done here. What I was actually going to suggest is that when we next encounter Lathander, and let's face it, we're probably going to, why don't we ask him if he can make some upside-down egg stew with that feast? You're really going to ask Lathander about upside-down egg stew? Or at the very least, he can tell me how to make it! He's a god! If anybody would know how to make upside-down egg stew, it's a god! Forgive me, but... I don't know what this upside-down egg stew is. Don't get him started, Tabitha. It was from one of my dreams! Oh, you've got him started. He's not going to stop now. It was from my dream. It was so vivid, and it smelled delicious, and it had egg in it, and ginger, and... And I don't know how to make it. Nobody knows how to make it. Ishan tried, but I swear, the closest he got smelt like sovereign glue. And I wasn't going to be eating that, that's for sure. Lathander is the one person, if he can make that feast and make it so wondrous and delicious, he should know how to make upside-down egg stew! It would make it absolutely divine! I believe we have more serious things to ask Lathander about than egg stew. Nothing is as serious as egg stew, Rex! You know this! And I'm going to ask him anyway. You can't stop me. Just know that I will, and make sure you don't make him disappear before I do. I don't think any of us could make Lathander disappear, even if we wanted to. But when your mind is set on something, nothing will stop you. Indeed not. Now let's move forward. We have a dark god to defeat. And a feast to eat, if we get a little bit peckish. I am getting slightly hungry. Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play The Eye of the Beholder 3, Assault on Mithranor. And when last we left off, we began exploring the third floor of the Temple of Lathander, where we quickly figured out what we need to do there. We can't rest there for one reason or another. The evil grips that level so intensely that nightmares fill our dreams as we try to rest. We have to get some beacons of hope alight, and I think there'll be four of them. There'll be one north, south, east, and west, and we've currently dealt with two of them. We have an ember of hope that we can put in another, but we need to find some copper keys so that we can open the doors that lead to them. We also need to find them, to be fair, but if we follow that they're north, south, east, and west, that's not going to be a problem. We did open up the way to a feast that will fully heal us, and we can just go up to here, which I imagine is on the fourth level, or down to the second level if we need to rest, which sort of mitigates the problem of not being able to rest. It was much more difficult when we had this problem in the second game. Let's go down here, and see where it brings us out at. It brings us out to a place with some wailing banshees. Right, let's get our bearings, and be very careful, as there are many enemies about. Oh, I can hear them. Ah, one of these statues. Yep, it can still heal us even here. And there's a copper key. Right, we just need to find where we can open up where we can use the Ember of Hope. Probably nearby, I imagine. Keep your eyes open, everyone. Like there? Yes, like here. Exactly. There's the Ember of Hope. I have it here. The flames are alive with holy light. Indeed, we are further purifying this level. I wonder how many more of them there are. Probably one. Don't... I wasn't. Don't! You really don't give him much credit, do you, Sandstar? No, I most certainly don't. Past experience has told me not to. Hmm. 
I wonder. That's going to activate these. It probably will, but there's an area that we can back up into. I wonder. Get ready, everyone. I'm going to use it. Back up into that area behind us when I do. And what if it disappears? Then we're in some bother. On three. One. Two. Three! Well, that did something. But what? That is the sort of thing that I think is a trap you have to trigger. It's set up so that you can avoid the damage, and it does look like a lot of damage. I think that was a pair of Cone of Cold spells. And over here is... a door! Perhaps this door was opened by that. I can only presume that that's the case. I hadn't come down here before, so we'll look around in here and see if there's anything. This level certainly doesn't have the volume of enemies that the uh, same sort of place in either Beholder 2 did. That was one of the ways that this was a tricky place in that game. Because you were constantly bombarded with easy to defeat but numerous foes, which meant that you were slowly whittled down. Now here are some goodies. A flail that I'm going to get identified, and there's definitely an enemy somewhere nearby, so let's make this quick. This is a flail called Morning Star, and there's an enemy. Goodbye, enemy! You're gone now. We do not need this Mace Plus Four, because we have something quite better. We also have this as well. We could get this identified. This is a Shield Plus Four. Okay, that's a pretty good shield. It's quite a bit better than the Shield Plus Three that we're holding on to. And we know that there is a Shield Plus One somewhere that we don't need. But we'll hold on to all the shields, because we could always weigh something down with them. Okay, our spells are beginning to expire. Fortunately, we have plenty of them. So we'll keep exploring and see what else we can find. Probably more enemies, considering the sounds that we're hearing. Over here is nothing. What about this way? This way is a button. Are we ready? Ready as we'll ever be. Use it. Hmm. Well, that opened that way. And that's good. A quick way to get to that location, if we need to. It's a big if, Tabitha. You never know when such a thing could be handy. And there is a foe. We'll deal with you, and we might as well use some incense here. The sweet, exotic aroma of incense fills the air, lending an atmosphere of tranquility to the room. This has trap written all over it, but there's a goodie there, and there's a goodie there as well. Okay. Yes, I know the situation. We're going to have to do something with that switch, aren't we? We're probably going to have to try and use it before something hits us there. Are we fast enough to do that? Well, if we're not, we'll get hit. So, we're just gonna have to hope. We can try and use magic to protect ourselves, but it will only be so effective. And we're not sure what thing will come out of there. I'll get us as ready as we can be. This is not going to be fun. I think what we have to do is we have to very quickly step on that, and then press the switch, and then go back. Unless... No, this is not one that's going to be weighed down by us putting something there. We have to step on it, and then press the switch. And I don't want to do that one right now. I want to do this one. This could go, and probably will go, horribly wrong. But we have to try. Let's go. And I wasn't fast enough. That wasn't a lot of damage, though. Ugh. That... that was painful. Not as painful as it could have been, though. And we've deactivated the trap, allowing us to get to this Ember of Hope. We're going to try the other one now, aren't we? That could be a very important scroll, Sandstar. Alright, let's get this over with. And again, 
not fast enough, but we didn't take that much damage. As for what's here, ironically enough, considering that we were being hit by cold spells, this is a Scroll of Firestorm. A pretty decent spell, but one that wasn't worth getting hit for. I believe we have all of the things that we need if there are four locations for the Embers of Hope. We just need to find where the uh, next one is, and I believe that's probably going to be in the northern area of this level. Do we have a copper key? The answer is no. So somewhere we're going to have to find a copper key. Let's see about locating that. So, we'll go up here, ignore those, and this should bring us to the Magnificent Feast, and it doesn't appear like we have music here right now. Let me solve that. Sometimes when you load the game up, music doesn't appear. The game has been restarted, my save has been loaded, has the music returned? That it has! Time to eat music to the famous tune, Stuff Your Face at Lathander's Behest. It's played semi-regularly in various taverns. With our wounds healed once again, we have to check if the final place that we need to get into is to the north, and it is. Unfortunately, we don't have a copper key that we can use to open this door, even though we do have the final Ember of Hope though I think I may know where we need to go. And I've accidentally walked past the feast again. Well, time to eat up, everyone! Um, this food is so delicious! Why can't I stop myself from eating it when we get here? Even better, I never feel full after eating! Magical food truly is amazing! I'll just grab some of it and put it in my backpack so that... Oh, it's gone! That is the limit of such magic, Sandstar. You have to either be sitting or standing by the table to partake in the feast. If you try to leave with food, the food vanishes. Oh, trust magical food to spoil my fun. Oh well, we'll just have to pop here later when we're on our way to the next level. Best to be fully prepared, after all. And there goes Mordekainen's sword. The reason why I'm coming here is while I looked around... not that way... There was an area down... I think it was down here? Yes, there was an area down here where I found that. But there was another area that I didn't actually look down, and it was here. Anything here? Nothing here? There's something here, though! There is the Copper Key. So let's quickly make our way to the north, and of course... Eat more of the feast. Um, um. That, that's, that food's really good there. You should try some, Rune. I've tried a bit of everything, thank you. We really should think about moving. Just one more apple. Ah. Mm. Mm. So good. Mm. Look, we're eating food literally put there by a god. I'm not going to say no. Nobody is, but we do need to focus. All right, fine. That fine Lemba can go here. Sandstar attains level 15! I think we may have done something pretty awesome! Has anyone else gained a level? The answer is no, I think it was only Sandstar. But hey, a level is a level! And now that we've done this, we can rest here now! Aha! The evil that gripped this floor has vanished, which means that we can entirely mitigate that uh, problem that this level had. This was far less dangerous than it was in Eye of the Beholder 2. We'll have a spiritual hammer here. Rare. Mordekainen's sword. And then a few aid spells. And I think I know where we need to go. And I'm also going to save. I'm going to save over here because I want that save just in case we have problems with the music further in. Now, I think we want to go over to this area, roughly to the west, because there was a teleporter which didn't do anything before. 
down here. I wonder now that we've got all of the uh, beacons of hope lit, if this will take us somewhere. And there's only one way to find out. And the answer is... no. Hmm. We are missing something. Faith must go before all good souls. Is this a situation where we need to have bless? We'll give it a go. No. We're missing something here. There is a solution to this that I have not figured out. Faith must go before all good souls. Hmm. Is there something that we need to cast on this? Maybe we need to use a prayer. We already have that cast. It cannot hurt to try again. Indeed not. The party is already under the influence of a prayer spell, but maybe that will make the difference. And no, no it did not make the difference. I'm going to have to put some thought into this. What spells could we possibly use? We have things like Blessed Warmth, we have Prayer, we have Aid, we have Bless. We have Protection from Evil, but we already have Protection from Evil 10 feet cast. Remove Paralysis isn't going to do anything. Magical Vestiment, Dispel Magic. Create fruit and water definitely isn't going to do anything. There is something I am missing. We don't have to eat at the table again, do we? I'll eat at the table, if it makes any difference, but I highly doubt it will. Hmm. Trust this kind of puzzle to be the one that stumps me. Trust it to be the one that stumps me. We can rest here. There's no problem in resting here. Maybe we need to uh, cast prayer and then go in. Like so. No, that didn't do anything. And if we step in backwards, that does nothing. I have absolutely no idea what we need to do here. I don't have any clue either. Maybe Lathander could appear and help us out. Maybe. No, maybe we need to go to that altar. The altar? The altar! You know, the one that we saw before? The one where nothing happened? That's an idea. I don't have any better suggestions. We'll give it a go. Indeed. Let us go there. I roughly remember where that is from here. We'll get haste. We'll get, uh... We already have prayer, that's my fault, and Border Canaan's sword. With that all done, we'll head this way, over here, and then down here, and I believe it's over here. Aha! The key of faith. Good thinking, Sandstar. I come up with good ideas every now and again. You should take notes, Rune. You'll find that the list is rather long. And there you go, ruining my compliment. Let's go back the way we came, and now that we're armed with the... Uh, I believe we have to go this way. Yep. Now that we are armed with the Key of Faith, we should be able to go through. Or maybe we need to hold it... Maybe... Oh, hang on. Faith must go before all good souls. Do we have to throw the key in? That would be a really clever solution to the puzzle. Aha! That is really clever. Okay, props to you, I the Beholder 3. That was clever. And here we are on the fourth level. Against these gates, neither stealth nor sword nor prayer shall prevail. I don't like the sounds that are coming from beyond those doors. I don't like them either, Sandstar. And I think I know how we're going to get past. If neither stealth nor sword nor prayer shall prevail, 
then it must be magic. Indeed, Tabitha. And I found that of all the spells that get us past things, the ability to dispel magic will work. Indeed, Rex. And we'll let all those monsters loose, whatever they are. Indeed. We have got this far, friends. We shall not give up now. I wasn't going to say that we'd surrender here, Valendra. Oh, no. We've come too far for us to turn back now. Besides, nobody makes a fool of Sandstar. You said that before. And so, when we come back, folks, I think we're on the final level of the Temple of Lathanda. Either that, or the final real level, and there'll be some small area with the boss that's separated from the rest of the uh, temple. Much like how in either Beholder 1 and 2, the place where we fought the final boss with its own unique little location, with nothing else really there. Okay, less so with either Beholder 1, I believe it was actually quite a full level. But I think Dispel Magic is going to be the key, and I think we're going to be in trouble when we do so. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.